uh, next in line, we talked about the pros and what's going on uh, with uh, the, with the Rams and what's, what just wrapped up with them. We talked about what's going on with the Chargers, as you see here. Uh, there is some big news going on in the college world. We'll start with our QB at USC. Caleb Williams just announced for the draft officially. We've been talking about it for some time now. It seemed like it was uh, destined to happen, and he finally made it official in the last couple of days. Uh, I'm very excited for him. Um, just our, 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 our now in a full thought with him officially declaring. Uh, I guess I'll ask you, as I asked on Twitter, uh, where do you want to see him go uh, amongst the top teams in, in the draft? Uh, do you want to see him go to the Bears that we discussed before? Do uh, you think the commanders are actually the right fit? Or so a team trade up as uh, could be a, a very real possibility? Man, yeah. When you posted that question, I honestly – I didn't even answer because I was honestly like, I don't even know. Like, all, all, I think all, all these teams could, like, benefit from having him. I was just thinking about, like, uh, the commanders you mentioned, like finally having their guy like at quarterback, but they've also like had rookie QBs who they kind of thought could be the guy too. So um, right. it would be great for Terry to finally have that that QB that uh, can get him the ball on a consistent basis and and make all the throws. Uh, but who knows? Maybe maybe it doesn't fully translate for him too. And maybe it's a similar situation with the other rookie QBs. But uh, right. and then and then. The Bears having missed on Mahomes, uh, having an opportunity to bring in a, a Mahomes. What were they? What was what, some of the scouts saying? He was a uh, uh, elevated Mahomes or whatever. He was a uh, Mahomes Mar Mar hybrid. Mahomes Mar hybrid. Yeah, all all the crazy comps he's been getting. Uh, so with those comps, maybe they don't want to miss out. You know, like on on Mahomes, like a second time as they did previously. So. Um, uh, I guess to that point, as we, I guess we're already kind of confirming it, but what do you actually think of Caleb? Do you think of him actually as a, a very high quality quarterback, or do you think he's kind of overrated? The thing is, I don't know where exactly he's rated at this point because, like, he he's taken a lot of criti some criticism at least after the this final season at USC. Uh, but it was mm -hmm. more of a, it felt like more of a team thing, like not solely on him. He had some bad play, but it was mm -hmm. more of a team defensive thing. Uh, this team was constantly giving up 50 points. He's constantly right. being in shootouts. Um, I, I think he's a really, really talented. The arm talent is there. Uh, the maneuverability in the pocket and, and uh, ability with his legs is, is great. So I think he really can be. I think there are some things that he has to refine. He's not the more refined uh, Mahomes. No. But um, – I think he can be a, a really, really talented QB in this league. I don't know that he's the generational talent that he was kind of touted as, uh, like in his Heisman year. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I see the type of, like the CJ Stroud type of uh, breakout season out of him. Um, like, I, I think it's it's somewhere in the middle of CJ Stroud and Bryce Young. Like, I don't think it's as bad as Bryce Young. I don't think it's as high as... CJ Stroud kind of thing. I think it's somewhere right. in the middle there. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. What do, what do you think as far as where you'd like to see him go? Uh, I think very highly of him, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm a fan of his. I necessarily win. I think highly of him, but I don't think as highly as you, like you said, the people have, where it's the grand. Like I, I, he, I think he has proper praise. Like he's number one pick and deserves the attention, and he's yeah. that guy. Yeah. But when folks start saying, oh, he's a, the Mahomes hybrid, I'm like, all right, hold, hold on. He's great, <laughs> but not, not that far. Uh, in the era, as we see, of uh, quarterbacks where, where uh, we now are, 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 are defining it with the game manager versus the game changer and things like that. I think but he, he can be a game changer. changer. Yeah, he definitely can be a game changer. He definitely understands how to maneuver once plays break down, uh, which, as we saw for a few teams in the last play in the last first round of the playoffs, uh, some teams are not able to do. Uh, we saw Tua and, and others like that. Once once that first second read got kind of broke down. They were just like, I'm just out of bounds. Like, I don't know what to do. So <laughs> Taylor has shown on multiple, <laughs> multiple occasions. Cool. We'll like, get Taylor, to Tua. We'll get to Tua. Yeah, later. we'll get to him for sure. But just saying, as a guy who can make something out of nothing uh, when, when you need it, uh, especially for a team that uh, if he get, when he gets drafted early, uh, most of those teams are going to need a guy that can do something like that. Uh, I think he uh, definitely can make that work. And I'll be rooting for him wherever, wherever he goes, even if it happens to be the Patriots or, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, he definitely won me over as a fan uh, in the last, last couple of years. And uh, excited to see what it meant for him. And, yeah, I think highly of him uh, going into this draft for sure. Did you say, like, where you'd like to see him? Oh, where would I like to see him go? Uh -huh. um, 
I would. I, I'll be honest. I would like to see him have at least some support. My God, I, I, <laughs> I know Washington has a couple pieces there. They do. Chicago. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess the interesting thing with Chicago, as we have talked about them a couple of times now, if Chicago becomes the piece, that means Justin Fields is gone. There are a lot of rumors right. that uh, now cir cir uh, circling that um, if Justin Fields is gone, they can end up trading him to the Falcons for the eighth pick, which you can see here. So if you now have Caleb Williams at the one spot, you have the eighth pick and the ninth pick. Uh, you can add some receivers there uh, to get him the support that he wants. You can get a lineman, a receiver and a lineman, however you want to do it. Uh, to get him some support uh, going into, into his first season uh, to really get this thing going. Uh, so Chicago, I guess, would be top of the list if things play out in that regard. Uh, beyond that, for just want, uh, I think an interesting one, low-key. I know they already kind of had a quarterback, but uh, we it's just saw the injuries last year. Not the, not the Giants, that's in Minnesota. Okay. I think him reuniting with Jordan okay. Addison, okay. Him, him being there with, with Justin Jefferson, I think that's Hawkinson that's there as a receiver, as a tight end there. Uh, so I, I think he actually got hurt, but uh, just just saying they have some receiver pieces there uh, and, and and have uh, desires. So you think they, again. In that scenario, they'd probably trade up, right? Because I don't think – I don't know if he's available at 11. So, yeah, of course, yeah, Of course. Um, so if somehow they pulled that off, I, I, that was something that caught my attention. Uh, okay. Yeah, those other squads in the same kind of boat. Uh, you, can put, you can kind of put the, uh, the Tennessee kind of there, having D-Hop and – Guys like that there who are starting to show a little flash, but they seem to be banking on levels for a year. So we'll let that play out as however they, however that goes. Um, but of the top 12, at least, top 13, 12, or whatever, uh, Minnesota caught my eye a little bit. Uh, though I know uh, folks have kind of been convinced again by Kirk Cousins, even his gear not playing, that he could be the guy again. So uh, we'll see. But uh, beyond the top three or four, uh, they stood out to me there. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I guess to that point of top 12 or whatever, like Denver, same thing with Minnesota, they'd have to trade up, but it would make sense if they were to want to get their QB as well. Cause obviously it's not going to yeah. be Russell Wilson. Uh, and and it, I don't think it's going to be Jarrett Stidham uh, either. So no. uh, maybe they, they make a move up there, but I, I agree with you. Cause I'm glad you mentioned about Justin Fields that it has been heavily rumored that, or, and, and he made comments in post game of his final game, like he was going to be gone as well. Right. Uh, so it seems like they are maybe positioning for uh, a trade of, of Justin Fields. And, and in that case, it would make a whole lot of sense for them to draft uh, Caleb Williams. Uh, yeah, and on the proof side of that real quick, I would love it in Atlanta, him with Bijan and, and Kyle Pitts and Drake London. And no Arthur Smith. Smith. And no Arthur Smith. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. That's a very, very, very fun offense uh, uh -huh. that could actually get clicking. Uh, I, wouldn't, I don't want to necessarily say right away, but – once they figure it out, it'd definitely be a, a fun thing to watch. So yeah, uh, it definitely be great for, for Madden purposes for sure. So <laughs> that's another success for another day. But uh, uh yeah, really tune into that and we'll see how it plays out. And uh yeah, just rooting for for Kato wherever he goes. I'm excited for what's next in his career. Any further thought on him? Uh no, no. Uh, for, for fun, I guess I'll throw it out. Where would you rank him amongst the young QBs right now? We just mentioned Jordan Love and Bryce, Bryce, uh, Bryce, uh, um, not Bryce Young, CJ Stroud and others before. Uh, um, all these sorry, young sorry to Bryce Young. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gosh. Um, say not Bryce. But, uh, uh, of, of young guys of, of, of that, of that level, uh, do you kind of have a vision of where you rank him already? Um, I mean, you could, you, could th you could throw Bryce Young in there just because he's he was the number two pick and he's a young of QB course. as well. Uh, so who else would be in besides those three? Is there anyone else as far as those young QBs? I guess Sam Howell's in there, but I <laughs> wouldn't necessarily rank him highly there. But, I mean, between those three, I, he has to be the lowest of these two pictured. Uh, just because mm -hmm. of what we've seen them do in the NFL uh, on the big stage in the playoffs already, uh, um, Caleb, I, I think is probably capable of that, but we haven't seen it yet. So just out of respect, I, I have to have these two ahead of him at this point. I mean, Jordan Love, we'll probably talk a little bit more about it uh, in a minute, but he was making all the throws. Like I talked about Stafford, he was similar thing where he was hanging in there taking shots, but uh, letting the play, play develop and, and throwing dimes off platform and, uh, off one foot and uh, right. sidearm, all the throws. Uh, they kept comparing him to Rodgers. So um, it's hard for me to say Caleb was better than him already. And then CJ Stroud, I mean, he's probably offensive rookie of the year. So he would have to be third after these two. This list 
is quarterbacks under 25. Uh, okay. Notable okay. names. Uh, we have Jalen Hurts, Jordan Love, Tua, Justin Herbert, uh, Purdy, Ritter, uh, Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, uh, Trey Lance, though he's fallen off recently, Bryce Young, CJ, and Anthony Richardson. So, uh, hey, and Max Duggan. <laughs> and Max Duggan, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Would you say he's a top five QB under 25 right now already? Definitely giving CJ the belt. Definitely given uh is is love not pictured? Is he over 25? Jordan oh, Love's he's, like, there. He's, yeah. there. he's there. He's there. Okay. Uh, um Herbert is better at this point. So that's three. Um you taking him or Purdy? Don't ask me that question. Answer it. Because because Purdy has been putting it up, man. I, I, that's what I <laughs> thought. I, I think, like, for eye test in terms of talent, you probably put Caleb over, but we've seen Purdy be Mr. Irrelevant and be sensational in his own right. So mm-hmm. um, out of respect, I probably have Purdy a little higher, but eye test tells me Caleb Williams can be more dynamic. So yeah, we'll, we'll put him over him for this point. Is there anyone else? Trevor Lawrence. He hasn't been the generational prospect that we thought he was going to be in the league. I Andrew Luck, people said. I was on that boat, too. I thought he was really about to click, but hasn't quite put it together just yet. Uh, so he's he's probably borderline five at this point. Caleb, can you scroll down to the bottom again? Yeah. Yeah, CJ, Love, Lawrence, Herbert. Hurts, man, Drew Walls clone. Ah, uh, <laughs> man, Bleacher Report did him so nasty with that. That was yeah, hilarious. no, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> we'll get to it. So Caleb, Caleb's five, borderline five, six of, of these under twenty five guys. I'd say, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, I think he's in the conversation. Yeah, five, six sounds, sounds about right to me. Um, definitely impressed by Stroud and, and Love, and continue to say, uh, and, and looking forward to what's next and all these guys' career for sure. And again, looking forward to what's, what's going to be going on with Caleb once he gets here. So, uh, yeah, that'll be the last part of it. Just throw it out there for fun. Uh, y'all can get in the comments and take, say you have him ranked as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wrap that up uh, on that side. 